You're watching KRDO-TV, Colorado Springs, Pueblo. Live, this is News 13, the 10 o'clock report. The latest face-off may be over, but the tension remains high in Iraq. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. And I'm Tom Hansen. The United Nations is sending another warning to Iraq. It says Baghdad will face serious consequences unless it drops a ban on U.S. U.N. flights within Iraq. After removing its missiles from the border of the no-fly zone just after today's deadline, Saddam Hussein issued a new challenge. He is banning all flights by U.N. weapons inspectors. The U.N. says this is a breach of the Gulf War ceasefire. The continued tension has many people wondering if U.S. troops will be back in action in the Middle East. One of the top generals of Operation Desert Storm says he doesn't think we'll end up in another ground war with Iraq. General Calvin Waller retired to Colorado Springs and is now a consultant for ABC News. And I just can't imagine that he would have sufficient forces to uh, sustain, amount any kind of ground operation as he did before. I mean, it, it's just a devastating loss that he had before and how he could even consider uh, putting together sufficient ground forces to become a threat again is beyond my comprehension. I just don't think it's uh, in the realm of feasibility. The downing of an Iraqi fighter plane in the no-fly zone December 23rd sparked this latest face-off. Today, the Pentagon released video of the engagement. You'll be looking at a radar picture for much of the time. Get you one. Lock leader. Leader past the line now. 18 miles. Angels 2-9. Two F-16 pilots are tracking two Iraqi MiGs with the help of an AWACS radar plane. The Americans using the call sign Benji-1 and Benji-2 report that the MiGs are heading their way and they have crossed into the no-fly zone. Okay, I show them well south of the line, 14 miles. Two sweep, try to get the trailer. The small circle with the triangle is the target. As the MiGs get within eight miles, the F-16s go to afterburners and ask for clearance to fire. Benji saved, looking for clearance to fire. Benji 4 1, clear kill, clear kill. When he says Benji Fox, that means he's fired his missile. Splash means he hit his target. Benji Fox. Benji, let's come hard left. Splash. Benji. Benji Burners, let's take it down, go low. Benji, splash one, splash one. Copy, splash one. As soon as the first MiG was shot down, the other one bugged out again. This was December 23rd. The Pentagon says the video clearly shows the Iraqis violating the no-fly zone. Among those watching the situation in Iraq are members of the 2nd Battalion, 12th Infantry, from Fort Carson. 